Hi, I'm David Lawler. I'm here at Intel's EX launch in San Francisco on today, March 30th. And I'm here with Chabot Nag from Manufacturing Development at, at Intel. Um, it's been an exciting day. We've seen Kirk Skagen announce the new EX uh, processors, talk about all the activity around it and the you know, amazing pro performance we've actually seen coming in it, and actually fundamentally moving mission critical processing to the mainstream. I mean, it's, it's a huge development for the industry. Um, you know, some of the questions I want to talk to Chabot about is, you know, there's so much in this EX processor, it's just amazing. If you look at it, um, what they've done is they've gone down to in the past, which we used to talk about a socket in an industry, it meant one core. Right now, when we're talking a socket, we're talking eight cores. Um, I don't know, how many megabytes of cache do you have on these now? Uh, we have 24 megabytes of cache, which is a... My first computer didn't even have a megabyte of cache on it, so I didn't even have a megabyte CPU. of memory. So, you know, 24 mega cache, um, you've got the mission critical statement, you know, the, the capacity inside of it, you've got four memory channels on it. I mean, how hard was that to get out of the, uh, to actually get processed and get out and getting in production? I mean, that had to be huge. As you said, David, uh, this has been an exciting development for, for us, and uh, it has been in leaps and bounds compared to the previous processes that we have been developing. And uh, we ran into various challenges, obviously, <coughs> for this very complex CPU that brings this much performance, scalability, and, 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 and uh, RAS features to it. <coughs> and one of the things that we found was really uh, exciting to w was work in advance with uh, customers like, like yourself. Mm -hmm. And that we would uh, bring this complex CPU to well in advance of the, of the launch event that we're in here today for, mm -hmm. and uh, have you uh, work with it and tell us how, uh, what, what, uh, what's working and what, is, what needs some improvement. Right. And this uh, incredible partnership uh, has gone a long way in, in bringing us to the point that we're here today, mm -hmm. uh, and, and a, year a year from essentially uh, the previous generation processor. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm very proud to be part, part of this uh, exciting development team and, and the partnership we have with uh, Cisco. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's been a pleasure working with Intel as well. And you know, one of the things that actually has helped so much in this is that, you know, as hard as it is to develop these processors, you know, for us as, as an OEM developing and building systems around this, uh, we got early early chips in. Um, the fact that you can actually get those to us, we can build complete systems out there, get them into customers' hands, get them tested, and then you guys take that and then put it back in, and then you can actually, you know, you've, you've had the capacity to do additional spins on it and actually get it out and perfected. It's been actually huge. And that that actually shows not just a partnership from me on the, on the, uh, the marketing side of, of manufacturing and getting the, the product out to spec, but also on the entire ecosystem side. And this is actually what's one of the key things in this industry is that, you know, we look at this industry and, and, and you know, we're Cisco, we're talking about, we'll, we'll sell a system called Unified Computing System, but all of this fits into a larger ecosystem. Absolutely. In, Intel has driven and changed this industry from a compute standpoint. Um, what we're actually doing is making sure that the compute doesn't stand alone. What we've done is with UCS, we've integrated compute and network. Mm -hmm. right? Cisco's core competence and it has historically been in the network side. Uh, understanding that, we have a you know, world-class development team for ASICs as well. But what we've done, and, and com combined with technologies like you know, Intel's announced here, we've, we've, we've been shipping now with the EP class systems, the two socket class systems for, uh, for uh, close to a year now, um, is really a, com a combined solution where all of this capability is actually made available and easily available to customers to actually use. Exactly. Right? Right. Because you know, much as you know, you work on getting a chip out. The chip isn't the end of the game. Right? Exactly. There's the chip step that goes with that, and everything else. Now, tell me if you could, could, you know, in developing the chip, how did you actually, you know, working with the the other folks in, in both marketing um, and your other manufacturing colleagues and the engineering colleagues mm -hmm. at Intel, when you're looking at the chip. You know, you test out the entire system, I'd assume, Absolutely. right? So talk, talk a little bit about that. So as you said, as you said, David, that the, the, the whole system design uh, varies from uh, OEM to OEM, right? Exactly. And Intel, in its development cycle, would have a reference design that we would test our system, uh, that a CPU on. Mm -hmm. But as you can imagine, uh, there can be, g given a processor like this, which has such scalability, there mm -hmm. can be an innumerable number of designs, essentially uh, unlimited number of designs, that right. we, uh, Intel by itself could not, pretend, could not develop a system to test for, right. which is why this early partnership with uh, companies like Cisco, IBM, HP, and all the other big OEMs is that we are able to get it to you sooner and earlier so that you can test your own system design, yep. which is a very unique design that is uh, tuned to your end users, yep. and therefore potentially come up, and we have, come up with issues that an Intel design, which is essentially a reference design, may or may not be able to um, optimize, it, optimize right. for. So again, as I said before, uh, such a complex design, it's a, the earlier and earlier partnership. Yep. Um, and be able to get, get you the silicon, get you this complex CPU, and that you can therefore give us feedback and allow us to yep. iterate and therefore get it us out in time. 
Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's it's critical, I think, not just for us, but obviously for the users. And one thing that this really underscores, you know, Cisco and getting into this space you know, recognized, you know, the, the, the complexity of getting into this space, uh, getting, uh, the complexities of, the, of this this model. Uh, and we've been working, we have a, a fantastically tight relationship with Intel from the early days on, uh, pre, you know, actually even obviously announcing UCS. Uh, we made the decision to go with Intel uh, as early as 2006. Uh, and now, you know, looking at this, we're announcing today that we are going and continuing that, that, that partnership. Uh, and, it, and it's been exciting, right? I want to thank you very much, uh, you know, and we look forward to uh, you know more great stuff. Thank you, David. Thank you. It, it, thank it's you. been exciting uh, partnership with Cisco, and we look forward to further development with you guys. All right, thank you. Thank you.